Welcome back to the Tech Table. Today I've invited our plugin partner, New Blue FX, to walk us through their brand new Titler Pro for CS6, now available for Mac users. It offers incredible 3D moving titles for Premiere Pro users. I've invited Travis from New Blue FX to walk us through it. Let's go check it out. Hello, I'm Travis White, and I'm here to show you how to make 3D moving titles inside Premiere Pro in minutes. And we're going to use New Blue Titler Pro to do that. In fact, I'm going to go into the bin, and I right-click and do New Item, and bring in New Blue Titler Pro. This is a synthetic importer, which means that it's a new item in your bin, has its own clip duration, and everything like that. It's its own media. So I'm going to type in some text, speed, enter, way, and size that up a little bit right on our workspace. You see that uh, we're working on our workspace. We have attributes, and we have a timeline in the bottom that can have multiple pieces of text, which are called paragraphs. First thing I'm going to do is... Uh, pick a font that looks good and we can go into our XYZ handle and notice that it's already 3D. In fact, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to see what we're going to do here. Under attributes, I'm going to go under style. There's a layer that's currently just white. What I want to do is I want to do a gradient. So I'm going to pick a gradient, position the points, pick a color of my gradient, bring that down. That looks pretty good. I'm going to tighten that up a bit. There we go. And First off, just, just uh, close this down. You'll see that it's in my bin. I'm going to drop it to my timeline, and you're going to see now I have it on top of my video. Well, I want to open this uh, title again to really see my background video as I'm working with it. Okay, so Speedway right now is not really popping off the page. So I'm going to go back into my style, and I'm going to start adding additional elements. So the first thing I want to do is uh, maybe bring in a 3D outline. So we're going to bring in the 3D outline. It has layer depth here, a little bit of thickness. There we go. And I'm going to go use a texture instead. And JPEGs or PNGs are great because they are a way to bring in um, different alpha elements. In fact, if I go to a uh, text here and I start rotating it, it looks kind of interesting. But when I turn on environment mapping inside the second layer, we get this great shine happening here. In fact, to richen this up, I'm going to do another outline, do another texture on there, a complementary orange explosion, turn on environment mapping again, bring that to the front, thicken it up a bit, and you get to see how that's really working. Uh, finally, to uh, give more texture to this, I'm going to add in a face. And uh, we'll pick this grill kind of look. I don't want any extrusion on that, so I'm going to have no extrusion. But what I am going to do is bring this forward and cut it just back because that gradient layer, I want to bring down some opacity. There we go. That's a pretty cool look. Now, I can continue working on this, but I actually spent a little bit of time and thought previously. So we're going to go to our library and grab one of the styles I've saved. Under styles, you, have, you just hover and you see a lot of different uh, styles popping up just right away. But I'm going to go under Style, My Styles, and drag and drop Speedway. It's a little more polished. has a little better look to it. All right, so now we're going to start doing some layout. I'm going to pick one character. You can pick one or multiple and start resizing them on their own. So this is a really great way to lay stuff out. Oop, there we go. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Also grab the W, size that up a bit reposition, grab the whole way word, reposition, and click our XYZ handle to give a nice orientation on there. Click back out again, and we have a pretty cool looking title. In fact, I can go back to the library and go to effects. Now, we can do keyframing inside Title or Pro, but a nice thing to use uh, is uh, animations. In fact, we have this slow turn animation, which I can drag and drop and apply. And now, under effects, we have this turn. I can elect where my end position is going to be. I can elect where my start position is going to be. And if I scrub the timeline, now you see this nice turn happening. Well, I want to bring this a little higher up into my scene. Notice as I move this, because I'm not using keyframing, my motion doesn't get messed up. So there we go. A good play. I want to add a different paragraph, another paragraph. So I'm going to click somewhere else in the scene, double click, type drivers. Raise that up a bit. Now something I did previously as well is I went into the library and I saved out a template. 
A template is not only a style, but it's also different effects and transitions happening. I'm going to pick the driver's template. If you notice what's happening here, if we go ahead and play this title, we have drivers flashing, shimmering, running to the side. It's a little bit uh, too far to the side, so I'm going to actually mess with my sliders as it's running in my position and get that right in the position that I want. So there we go. Now Speedway needs to come in some way, so let's go back to our library. Let's go into Transitions, Animations, and do a Flying In. Just hover over and see what's going to do. That's a fast left, but let's do a fast right word by word. We'll drag and drop and drop it to the timeline. In fact, let's grow the timeline up so you can see what's happening down there. You see that there's a um, representation of that transition. Now, the word way is coming in a little late, so I have attributes in my transition such as overlap. So I'm going to dial that up a bit. So now, way comes in a lot sooner along with speed. And if we go ahead and play this, speedway drivers. Close title of pro down. And here it is in the timeline. It will be saved actually in your Premiere Pro project, so you don't have to worry about managing a different file. So in minutes, I've made a very compelling 3D title inside Premiere Pro using New Blue Title Pro. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this product, and uh, take care.